if ever there was a way to personally express your own creativity, it has to be through creating, maintaining and caring for a garden. Now, the trouble for many of us is we don't have gardens anymore. So how do you get that wonderful outlet, the ability to relax and enjoy in a very, very creative environment? In this courtyard, which happens to be alongside one of the best restaurants in town, we will set a challenge by the owners to bring a garden feature that softens the walls and allows guests to feel like they were in an oasis. This pretty flash restaurant and bar is called La La Rook. It's located in Perth, and the challenge here was the reality that we only had the walls to work with. The living wall concept is great, but to cover the area we were looking at, it would have reduced the room guests had, reducing restaurant capacity. We've created eight picture frames here, and each one consists of a self-watering wall frame, planted up with a selection of different plants in patterns, foliage texture, and colour variations. Framed by a recycled material, handmade picture frame, they look brilliant. The 50mm mesh frames themselves have watering systems within them, utilising drip line, so water is distributed evenly around the plant's roots. They're grown in a cocoa peat soil medium, which has a tremendous ability to hold moisture in and around the plant's roots for a long time. Now, if there was one problem with cocoa peat, it's that it's inert, it's biologically inactive. So we have to activate the cocoa peat to make sure that the soil that these plants are going to grow in is really healthy. And that's where this comes into play. It's called Troforte M. It is an amazing controlled release fertiliser, but what makes it so special is the fact that it's actually full of microbes. So it's biologically activated with the microbes that these plants will need to really succeed. Once mixed into the cocoa peat and wet down, the frames are wired together and the weed mat material is placed across the front of the frame. At that point, we can start planting and that's where you can be very creative. Now, there are some things that you have to be aware of with this kind of gardening. For a start, if you're in a low light environment, that is something that's shaded, you have to think about the plants you choose and where they sit on the frame. Now, the plants at the bottom of the frame are gonna get less light than the ones at the top. So, you want broader leaf plants if you can, or those plants that originate from forest floors, things like ferns, or even some of the indoor plants like hypoestes. These are gonna perform so much better in this environment. Living picture frames are a terrific way to create the living wall effect without going to the full-blown expense of putting up a living wall. Now, they are a wonderful way to express your own individual creativity. And hey, if you love artworks indoors, why not create some outdoors as well?